Speed up the ship. Those spices won't deliver themselves, men. Speed up. Is that another ship I see? Are those pirates? Get ready to attack. The only thing that matters now is the map, men. Ram into them. They're no good pirates. <clears throat> the map. It fell off. Who's the best leaving who pulled off this time? Have them sunk at once. The enemy is in sight. Wait, hold fire. Is that another explorer? Mergo is spoochy. Hey, ah! hey, Cabra. Thanks, Amerigo. Whenever I, when I was a teenager, I had heard so many great stories of your famous explorations. I'm a fan of you too. What are you doing here? Well, a few months ago, the king of Portugal sent me on his voyage to India. But the bad part is, I have to follow the trail. Oh, really? I'm just heading out. You're going to find an ocean route to India. It's hard leaving on this voyage because I have to leave my wife, Isabel de Castro. But I'm glad I'm going back. Wait. You looking for an ocean route to India, too? I have a spare map I don't need. May I borrow it? That would help me so much on my journey. Sure, take it. It would be my pleasure. Sorry I was listening to you before. I was just drowned in the conversation. This reminds me of the first time I met my best friend, Vasco da Gama. We used to trade stuff like this all the time. So you must be a navigator, too. I had a passion for navigating ever since I was little. My uncle taught me everything I know. Oh, really? When I was a youngster, all I wanted to do was explore. I didn't care what job I had. I just wanted to do this. And here I am, only 34 years later, leading an expedition and talking to you. Only 34 years later? You are so young. How many voyages have you been on in your young life? This is my first and my only voyage. I was excited at first, but now I've realized how dangerous it is. And once I get back to Portugal, I'm going to retire. You're right, this is dangerous. In one of my three voyages, we encountered Indians who attacked us. Wow, we have so much in common. Just a few days ago, I, my crew was attacked by Indians, too. Well, I'll be cautious while sailing in India. It sounds rough based off of your experience. Well, you'll be in luck when you get there. I have to have. I happen to have a few diamonds on me. India is a very good trading spot. In mm -hmm. fact, I do have two or three, so you, I wouldn't mind letting you have one. You mean I could use one of your diamonds to trade with the Indians? That's so nice of you. You're a very kind man. Well, I am used to having this much wealth. My dad was a nobleman, so naturally we were very wealthy. I was never afraid walking into school knowing that everyone was jealous of my attire. My family was wealthy too. Except my father died when I was growing up. My mother never paid much attention to me. The only one who cared for me after my father died was my uncle. Wow, sounds rough. Though I would imagine the great explorer, like... You would be the wealthiest man around. I don't have much money after I was sent on to this voyage. You don't have much money? I got many valuable items when I went on my voyages. I don't mean I'm broke. I just mean that all my funds went to this voyage. When I get back to Portugal, the king is going to pay me. Me too. Well, this was fun. See you later, Amara. Ah! There I go again.